Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here on Monday, February 26th. <laughs> ah, snowy, blustery, windy here today. Cold. But you know what? It's par for the course. It's February 26th, right? What can we expect? Ah, how was your weekend? I had a fantastic weekend this past weekend. On Saturday, I think you probably saw my post. Maybe you saw my post on Saturday. We did, I did, and my friends, we all did a garage sale. It was amazing. It was a chance to turn our old things into new things. That was how I advertised it. Hello, good morning, Margaret from Virginia. Hello, Tony, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Hi, Janet, good morning, good morning. Hi, Rita. Uh, it was a great sale on Saturday. It was um, a lot of people there. A lot of people showed up. I was so excited to see everyone and um, people were delighted to add things to their collection, new things to them, right? Something um, something special about seeing people grab new things that they missed. These were retired Stampin' Up! products and you know now they have new homes, so it's all good, right? So that was on Saturday. And yesterday I did some housework, spent some time with my family. We went out for dinner with our son, Andrew. So nice. Um, yeah, so now it's Monday. I mean, it's quickly, the, the weekends go by so quickly, don't they? Um, not that I wish them away or anything, because I love to stamp with you. I love Monday mornings popping back in here on my Facebook Live and starting a fresh new week. Thank you to everyone who purchased with me last week with the... Um, <laughs> thoughtful expressions. I was running a blank. What was the name of the bundle? That was what I focused on last week. So today on Monday, this is my schedule every week. I get those card kits cut and sent to you. Um, super excited to get these off to you. So that was on, that's today on the, my agenda. Plus I have some designing to do today. It's a great day to stay inside. It's cold out. <laughs> um, and I'm excited to share this card with you and my new product of the week. Um, okay, before I get started, don't forget, guys, we have four days left. Celebration ends on Thursday night, uh, February 29th. So we got a leap year. We got an extra day of celebrating. <laughs> um, so you want to get your orders in. Make sure some of the things are, I'm sure, flying off the shelf. And they're only available while supplies last. So I don't want you to worry. Um, just Go ahead and place your order as quickly as you can and get that in so you can secure your things, right? Uh, and you know, there's two there's two parts of celebration. There's the brochure, um, this one right here. We've had that since January 4th. And then on February 1st, ah, sorry, Sophia. I yeah, missed you at the sale. That's okay. I know that life is busy. This came out, this schedule, this schedule, this sheet here, these are the new things. So we have lots and lots of free stuff to choose from, either the brochure or the extra things. And all of this is on the website too. So you're going to, um, Debbie says, the Zinnia. Okay, Debbie, you know what? That's only available to us demonstrators. And that is uh, what Debbie's talking about. If you're wondering what the Zinnia bundle is, it's an online exclusive that is coming March 5th. So don't worry, it's coming back. Um, I guess us demonstrators must really love it. So we probably <laughs> uh, bought all the stock, but it's coming back. Don't worry. Uh, it's starting for customers on March 5th. Okay, so don't forget this week, you have till Thursday night at midnight to get your celebration things, your free celebration things. The other part, the other big part of celebration, good morning, Diane, is the starter kit. Oh my gosh, the starter kit. It's going to end on Thursday night too. The starter kit's not going to end. We always have the starter kit and it's always the best deal, but it is the best deal kicked up um, a lot, a notch <laughs> during celebration. You can choose to get your glass mat studio right, which is the glass mat, the silicone mat, as well as the chamois cloth. Or I had a lady sign up this weekend. Uh, she purchased the extra $41 in her kit. So if you have a big wish list, maybe you might choose to do that route, right? Choose the extra, 140, extra $41 and you get to choose $206 of whatever you want, right? And the lady that signed up, she has signed up before. So there's no, um, there's no strings attached, right? So you can, uh, <laughs> what's an Alberta clipper? That's a really bad storm, Michelin. No, we don't have a clipper today. It's just, uh, 
it's just a, a cold day with some wind. And I say some wind because this is not a lot of wind. <laughs> I'm from Newfoundland and where we get like 140 kilometer hour winds like that would be a state of emergency here in Calgary. <laughs> Uh, blowing away in Montana. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I guess it's windier down there. Uh, still a very cold day. The wind makes it super, super cold, right? Okay. Back to celebration. Get your starter kit guys. I have a, a zoom call tonight. If you're from Canada, the three requirements that you have to have, you have to email me or if you're on my email list, you got my email on Saturday with the link in it. So you click out, click the link and fill out the form and I will get an email notification that you want to attend my Zoom at 5 p.m. Mountain Time today. And that Zoom is strictly to answer your questions and so and give you information. OK, so the qualifications to come to the my Zoom is you have to be Canadian over 18 and not a demonstrator yet. Right. So um, I want to answer your questions and it's only an hour from five to six. And then every question you come and ask is a great question. There's no silly questions. You can ask me anything you want on this Zoom call. I'm going to put your name into my basket for, or my little draw bag for a prize, just for coming and asking questions and spending your time with me. There's no obligation to sign. I cannot reward you for signing up. Stampin' Up's going to do that with their extra bonuses, right? But I can reward you for coming and spending time with me and just asking questions. No pressure. All right, so I hope to see you on the call tonight. It's at 5 p.m. tonight. And um, yeah, so if you need the link, if you if you qualify to come, if you didn't get my email and you want me to send you the link, you can private message me here and let me know that you're Canadian over 18 and you're not a demonstrator already. And I would love to add you in. Okay, let's get started on my product of the week. I'm super excited about this one and I'll explain more when I flip the camera. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Peggy. Hello, hello. So nice to see you all with me. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Flipping the camera. There's the snow. There's the snow. Um, somebody commented on my one of my pictures from the sale on Saturday that you could see it was it was snowing on Saturday as well during my sale. So yeah, it's the time of year. Okay, let's get this camera fixed here. Let's see. Okay, that's better. Let's raise up a little bit. Hi, Donna. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here with me. And I'm just going to straighten this up. You can see more of that oh, amazing glass mat. I really don't know what I did without this. Now, I had one person comment, oh, I can't get that glass mat. I would break it. I would be so, my luck, I would break it. I want to sh share this with you guys. This glass mat is not that fragile, you guys. It is thick, 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 and it's strong. I'm going to hold mine. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to show you. It is, look how thick it is, like... It is not just a thin piece of glass, right? It's thick. And there's rubber feet on the back, so it stays put on my desk. It does not move, right? So it is a strong, strong platform. And you know what? Before I got my glass mat, I was I was thinking too that, oh, what's it going to be like for photopolymer? Is it going to be a good surface? Oh, my God. I was completely blown away how strong this surface is and it's perfect for stamping. Perfect. And I know some of you have commented here too that you already have your glass mat and you love it too. So it it is amazing. So get yours for free. Why not, right? Okay. What are we playing with today? We are going to play this week, an entire week. I'm going to focus on kidding around. Oh my gosh. This cute little bundle is amazing. You can see you've got... You are amazing. It's your birthday. You sparkle every day. I love this bundle. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. If you have children in your life, grandchildren, children, nieces, nephews, what have you, this is going to be a, an amazing little, little bundle for you to have in your collection. Of course, it's a bundle with dies, and I haven't had a chance to put mine on to my magnetic sheets yet, but they are a set of, let's see here, 14. So there's 14 yeah, Krista says, best glass mat ever. Stamping is so much clearer. I agree with you, Krista, 100%. You got to really try it to know, to, to know how amazing it is. So here's a set of 14 dies. Hi, Rebecca. Good morning to you. Hi, Shirlene. Good morning. Set of 14 dies. Oh, my gosh. You can make castles. You can make sand castles. There's stars. There's, of course, a die for every stamp. There's a beach ball. There's a banner. Oh, and there's a circle, a stitched. Nope, it's a circle die. 
Um, really, really amazing little bundle, little flag here. We're going to play with these. Look at the, look at the little stool. I mean, so cute, right? Think about all the things you could put on that stool. So we're going to play with these this week. Um, and hopefully I can inspire you. Now, this bundle is in the mini catalog. I'm going to bring it in and show you. It's on pages 48 and 49. Okay. The entire suite, and someone asked me this question, and it's a very, there are no silly questions, you guys. Ask me whatever you like. So, so someone asked me, what, what do you mean by sweet when you say sweet? So Stampin' Up! comes out with these sweets. They call them S-U-I-T-E, sweets. And it means that it includes, it's one item code. So it saves you time at, at when you're online. You just put in one code and you can get all of what you see here for the suite. So on page 49... There's a sweet collection number. It's 162843. $102.50 will get you the bundle, the paper, and the matching gems, the gems that go with it. These are suggestions. I mean, if you want to make your own suite, you can totally do that. But this is just a way to save you time from entering the host codes or the, the item codes. So um, here I, I'm just showing, showing you on the page here. So you can buy them separately, of course. You can buy the bundle, you can buy the paper and a couple packs because you're going to want more and the gems. But here's the best part. Here's why I'm choosing this, this one this week. I choose my products um, strategically because you're going to qualify when you buy the bundle for, um, let's see, the bundle is $74.50. You're going to qualify for a free celebration item if you purchase before Thursday night, February 29th at midnight, right? Don't wait until Thursday, guys. It's going to be really busy. A lot of people wait till the last minute and then the system is super slow. So put your orders in as soon as you can and get this paper. However, so you can order the suite. It's going to include your paper, but they included in the second release for celebration. You've got your, they've got this here as an option, so you can put this in and get it for free. I want to point out that this is an, a different item code. It'll be on the website. It'll be there. You can check the box, and you don't even have to put, worry about the item code. But I do want to point out that it is a different number than what's in the catalog. Okay, so if you're trying to put that number in in the catalog and get it for free, it won't work because for, for it to be free. You have to use the item code 165712. Okay, 165712. Okay, let's take a look at this gorgeous paper because it is absolutely stunning. And uh, it's stunning for a lot of reasons. Let me show you why. This paper, oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I'm, I'm going to say that a lot this week, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> it is adorable. So we've got this piece here, we've got images all over here. Now, um, these are children that are doing different things. I love the little guy in the wheelchair. Oh my gosh. Like so cute, right? Like you can think of all kinds of people. This is so inclusive. This paper, it is like, it speaks to my heart. You can literally make cards for anyone and to brighten their day, right? Like it's so amazing. So if you're looking at this particular pattern and you like the little boy in the wheelchair, there's three on this sheet. So it means you're going to get six of these in your package, right? And then you've got all your other images here and we've got, let's bring in the dies. I want to show you. Stampin' Up! does an amazing job. Here's the die here for the little wizard. Yep, it fits. It fits right over top. You can cut that out. Now, let's bring in some other dies. We've got this die here. I haven't tried this out yet. Let's see. This is the one, the little people. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The, the children in the little, um, they're like, what is that? A little concrete wall and they're looking over at the water. <laughs> so cute. So that one cuts out. Um, am I missing any other ones on this page? I think that's the two for this sheet. So adorable, right? Dory agrees with me. <laughs> Thanks, Dory. I'm happy you like this one. Okay, so those cut out of the designer series paper. Let me show you the flip side of that one. We've got a berry burst wash kind of a look. See, it's dark over here, and then it's kind of a washy background with the stars. Really, really nice pattern. Then, here we go, we've got another pattern here with all kinds of cute little um, kids doing things, painting. I love how she's got her little tongue sticking out. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, it's so cute. They're giggling. They're holding up their Valentines. They're, they're, they're paint, you know, they got their pictures. Like how adorable is this paper, right? So I looked at the paper and I'm like, okay, what cuts out? Guess what guys, this image right here of the little girl with her picture cuts out with the die. Look at that right there. That one cuts out of this one. And I think that's the only one on this sheet, but she, but there's multiples of her. I've already cut one out right there. Let's count. We've got, so one, two, three, four, five of that little girl that you can cut out with your dies. Now let's take a look at the flip side. The flip side of that one is an awesome, awesome blue and green background. You know, the new submarine punch and the submarine stamp set. I've used this with that. Oh my gosh, so amazing. So it's very versatile paper. One side is very much children. I figured you would love this one, Sophia. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this one here is they're out in the out and about in nature. We've got the ducks, they're catching frogs, they're catching fish, like really, really fun. I'm a scrapbooker and I can think of a lot of different pictures I have in my collection of my kids doing these things, you know, over the years, right? In fact, I caught frogs with my own dad <laughs> this summer. <laughs> so this one, I don't think there's a die that particularly cuts out any of these images, but still, you can fussy cut them out no problem or use a, a circle or an oval or something. I love how they're separated enough that we've got a bit of white space between them so we can isolate them. Hi, Betty. No worries about being late. <laughs> You're here. And the replay is always here. Check out the background back of this sheet. This one here, you could cut it into quarters and you've got different scenes. Oh my goodness. I love, well, this is a quarter, a quarter, a quarter down here. And then this one, you could, you could cut it and have it going um, the horizontal orientation, right? Or this is actually like this with a tree. Oh my gosh. Like, so this is like scrapbooking done for you, right? All you need is like a focal point here. So we'll take one of those little children and put it right there, put them there doing something like so fun, you guys. Okay. So that's that one. Now this one, they are in the kitchen. They are doing things in the kitchen. They're spilling stuff. They're, they're into the sugar. They've got the spatula. Oh my gosh. So adorable. Absolutely adorable. Now, does this one here have a die? I don't think this one has a die, but again, really, really cute images. Look at this little guy eating his cookie. Oh my God. The background is another really great pattern that you can use for a lot of other things, right? You can use this in your scrapbooking, card making. And then last but not least, our sixth pattern is a six one two, three, four, five. Okay. I got to open a new pack. I actually got two more packages. I love this paper. Look, I got two packages right, right away. Uh, yes, the sale was very, very good on Saturday. We did amazing. It was so amazing. You guys, we had a blast. Um, this one here, this uh, pattern, they're doing reading. I love this. So they're reading and eating popcorn, <laughs> sitting on a stack of books, reading together, Oh, look at this little girl with her cute little glasses or little boy it could be yeah I think it's a girl um right here stack of books so so adorable right and then the flip side of that one has this awesome green pattern here with our different green shades and again it's like a wash pattern okay so this one here let's see so I've shown you these two dies yes these two dies cut out as well as the big die with them by the water they cut out of the designer series paper. Let's find, I'm gonna bring these back in and find the sixth pattern from my new pack. I'm missing one. I have used a lot of this paper already and that's why I had to buy more. Let's just lay them all out on my, on my desk here and then I'll open the new pack and figure out which one I'm missing. All right, so let's see here. We'll open this guy up and let's see I want to show you all the I really like showing you the paper on screen because I think it's hard for them to show us all the patterns in the catalog it's uh it's, or it's, I find it tough to see the patterns in the catalog okay so we've got green we've got our oh this one yes that's why I've used this one up because look how stunning this one is okay so this one here 
they're playing with pets. <laughs> Look at this with the little dog right there and the little kitten. Uh, the bunny, feeding the bunny a carrot. Another one with the dog. Look at the little bird. Oh my gosh. Like, it's unbelievably cute, right? So that's that pattern. On the flip side is a berry burst pattern with the stars and hearts. Oh, so amazing. So here we go. You can take a look. You can see all six patterns on the background. Again, you can see the versatility. If you're not into, if you don't want all the children images, you can flip them over and use the background. But of course, when we flip it back over, you've got six different themes here going on, right? For all of your paper. I've never seen paper like this before. This is so stunning. Okay, so we're going to use this today. Um, the other part of the suite that you will get if you if you order the entire suite are the embellishments. And let me show you what they look like. They are called iridescent foil gems. Here they are. I'll hold them up close to the camera. You can see there's like little iridescence inside those gems. They're just gorgeous. So that comes when this in the suite. You get a set a package of a hundred of those. All right. So it's Monday. You guys know I love to join you on Monday with the Global Design Project Challenge. This week we have a sketch challenge. And I'm going to bring it in here and show you. This is the sketch. So we've got your card front, you've got two squares here, and then a banner or something in the middle. You can totally change the sketch. You could turn it and do it, you know, landscape. You could leave it portrait. You can change up the shapes if you wanted to. It's totally your interpretation of a sketch. I love sketches for that reason because it gives you lots of creative possibilities. So we're going to pull in. I, for my color, I chose to go with Azure Afternoon. Love Azure Afternoon. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I have the suite, so glad I ordered while I, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, the number of the paper, Pam wants the paper, not the celebration. Okay, so the number for the paper, I can grab that for you right now, Pam. I have the catalog right here. The number for the paper to purchase, not the free one, is 162828. Okay, so 162828 is the 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so we're going to play with Azure Afternoon. Love this blue. It's such a pretty blue. Came out last year in the spring. Hello, Sylvia. Good morning, good morning. We're going to pop this into the trimmer, and we're going to cut it at five and a half inches in half here, our standard card size. And then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to score at four and a quarter. So I'm going to co closely stick to the sketch. If you are a demonstrator and you go to on stage or any of those events and you make swaps to swap with one another sketches are a great option because I always say if I use a sketch chances are I'm not going to give someone else a card their own card right because we all follow one another online and sometimes you know you, you're inspired by someone but you don't want to make that card and then be at an event and hand it to them wouldn't that be embarrassing <laughs> I think it would be but anyway that's a topic for another time okay so I'm just gonna grab my ruler here and see. Okay, so I'm gonna choose two and three quarter inches for my squares. And let's bring that paper back in. Let's see, I've got so much of this paper. We're gonna use, let's flip it over and see the background. I love all these background patterns. We're gonna use the blue. I really wanna use the stars today. You're welcome, Pam, you're very welcome the stars, and we're going to use this blue piece right here. Okay, so two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. Now, I don't want to cut into the paper anywhere where there's a die cut image, like this little girl right here. Like, I'm going to actually um, fussy cut her out because I'm going to be using her today. Actually, there's one down here on the bottom. So I'm going to grab my scissors and come in here and kind of loose cut around because there's a die. I don't need to fussy cut. I have a die for her. So we're going to just put her off to the side there. Then I'm going to take the paper and come in here and we're going to go two and three quarters. Yeah, that'll work. Two and three quarter inches. Now I'm going to send you all of this when you order with me this week before midnight on Sunday, March 3rd. You're going to get um, all of the card kits. I'll prep them next Monday. That's my routine. Um, to make these cards. Okay, so there we have two and three quarter inches by two and three quarters. And so you see, we're actually going to be using both sides of the paper. 
And for the berry burst one, I'm going to do the same thing. I don't want to cut into a part of this um, paper that has the, the, so this paper has die cut, die cut, and die cut down here. It, oh, this one's also, this one has a lot of die cuts, and it has the little guy in the wheelchair. This is why you need lots of different <laughs> packages of this paper. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to, um, isolate the things I want to keep. Okay, so this little guy in the wheelchair, I don't want to cut him. So I'm going to cut that out. Then I'm going to cut out the little wizard with her cute little bunny slippers because I have a die for her. I'm just showing you my strategy of how I tackle the paper so that I can get the best use of this paper. All right. Sorry, dropped them on the floor. So I've got these, I don't wanna to touch them. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. And the other one I don't wanna cut into is this one down here. So, and I don't wanna cut into this one up here. I know you're probably like, well, Rose, what's gonna be left? Well, there'll still be enough left. I need to get a two and three quarter inch square. All right, so I'm cutting that one out. And Maybe up here I can get two and three quarter inches. You see what I'm doing here? <laughs> I hope this makes sense. Two and three quarter inches. Here we go. See, I didn't cut into this big chunk. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to just trim this up straight like that. And do that again, Rose. You didn't even cut it all the way through. <laughs> it's a Monday. What can I say? Okay, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Those are my squares that I am using for the sketch. I think I need to change my trimming blade here. So make sure, yes, they're both the same size. So we're going to use these patterns. Good morning, France. Good to see you with me. So we're going to use these as well. That little wizard. I want to grab that wizard. We're going to use both of these with these on my card. Alrighty, what else do I need for my trimmer? I need my trimmer to cut my inside white piece. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do the whole sheet. Yes, Joanne, it's an adorable little set. Love it. And the paper is amazing. You got to get the paper while you can, right? This catwalk's only good till the end of April. I, I, like, I'm just so sad. I think everything should stay around all the time. They'd need a massive warehouse the size of Canada to keep every all their products, right? <laughs> so things do retire, right? They retire because they have to make room for new things. So what I'm trying to get to is to um, get your things while you can. Get them while you can. And get them before Thursday because you can get this paper for free. So I cut my paper four and a quarter inches down the long side. Then I turned it, doubled it up because the paper trimmer is strong enough to cut through two pieces. And voila, I have eight inside pieces for my cards. Okay, so we're good with that. All right, let's get going here. Okay, I only need one, so put one there. And then we'll just put this stack off to the side on my desk. I keep them there all the time because that's what I like to do for my insides. I also need a scrap piece. So we're going to use this one of these. I'll grab my scrap bin for my stamping. I think this piece here might be big enough for a scrap. Okay, so... We're going to bring in matching colors. Of course, we have Azure Afternoon and I have Berry Burst. So let's grab my Azure Afternoon and we're going to do some background stamping. Let's move all these things off to the side for a second. We're going to do a little bit of background stamping. Uh, from the stamp set, I'm going to grab the little star image here and we're going to put that on a block and we're going to stamp that randomly all around to do a little bit of background stamping. Love doing background stamping. It's a fun way to get your, get your stamping going, <laughs> get your arms warmed up for the stamping. <laughs> and you can give this off, you pass this off to someone little, if you have a little person with you, you can just let them go to town and stamp the background of your card. Because there's really no right right or wrong way to do this. I'm just kind of turning my cardstock as I go, stamping off the edges. And the middle of the card is going to be covered up anyway, so you don't have to worry too, too much. But maybe another one up here like that. Okay, so there's my star stamping. 
And now I'm going to bring in my chamois cloth because I did go off the edge and I got a little bit of, of that azure afternoon on my glass mat. Wipe her off. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we'll bring in the sketch in case you're just joining me. This is the sketch I'm going with today. So we're going to add our glue to these two squares. Super easy. And we're going to put those on to the card front. Let's get the glue flow in here. All right. So get it. Put some glue on, but whoops, but not too, too much glue because you don't want it oozing out all over the place. So let's see, what do we put on the top? Let's put the berry burst ones using the sketch here. I put it up off, off to the side. So I'm going to put this the berry burst one like that, and they've got it angled. And you guys know me, I struggle with this. <laughs> I, I don't really like to put things on an angle. I struggle with that so much. But we're going to do it because the sketch tells us we should. Let's see. Oh, I kind of want this one to be underneath. But can I lift it? Can I lift it? You get a little bit of wiggle room. Oh, look at that. I just got enough wiggle room there. Okay, we're going to lay that underneath. Woo! <laughs> that was a close call. I want the blue underneath the berry burst. It probably didn't matter, but so there's my background. All I got to do now is do the banner and we're going to bling this up with those cute, adorable children. <laughs> so if you're just joining me, the stamp set, so I'm using, I'm going to use my dies to cut out the paper, but take a look at the stamp set. We've got a stamp for each of these. So you can make the, these custom to your grandchildren, your children, whatever color hair they have, skin tone, you name it. If you're into coloring, you can color them out or you can get the paper and just die cut them from the paper. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking the easy route today and I'm going to cut out the paper and show you how amazing this is, how it works. So we're going to just put our dies on here like this and you want to make sure they stay put. So add a couple of pieces of sticky note or some washi tape, whatever your favorite is. I just buy these stacks of the little the little sticky notes from the dollar store and you just put them right on top. I'm a fan of these because they're not as sticky. Sometimes the washi tape is really sticky and when you pull it up, it can rip your image and you don't want that to happen, right? You don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna put one right here, hold that down. And you can even do a couple of couple at a time. Make sure that the die does not move. Okay, I'll put another one right there. So they should be secure. The, the other thing I need to die cut is my uh, greeting. So this stamp set has a bunch of different greetings. You could say it's your birthday. You are amazing. You sparkle every day. We're going to make a birthday card because why not? We always need birthday cards, right? So let's grab my, it's a birth, it's your birthday and we'll put it on a block and I'm going to stamp that with berry burst. We're bringing in berry burst and we're going to stamp on my scrap paper right here. Hold it down for a second. Let the ink leave the stamp. There we go. Okay, so we're going to close this up so I don't put my arm in it. And we're going to grab a die. So I'm bringing in my Stylish Shapes dies. And I have a sad story. I am missing one of these. One of the gremlins in my craft room has taken the smaller. There is another banner that's only half the size. I think it's got put into another set and I couldn't find it when I was designing this card, but I'm going to show you in case this happens to you, how you can do this. So I'm going to take this die, the bigger one. I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do two runs through my machine. Okay. So I'm going to fix my mistake. I'm going to be using my die <laughs> um, to cut one end and then the other. So this is a little hack in case you need to do this at home, you can. So we're going to do this. We're going to put it there. So we're going to get one banner on one side and then we're going to turn it and do the other banner. All right. So got it all ready to go. Let's grab my machine and we're going to run this through. I'm going to, this would also work through the mini boss, right? But because to save time, I'm doing the mini, the big boss. So I can put all of these on my platform and then put my top plate on and hi Pauline so happy you could catch me today thanks for joining 
And then we're going to quickly slide the ones off that are done. And for this one, remember I needed to fix it. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take the die. I'm going to turn it and we're going to line that up over top and we're going to cut. This is kind of like a technique in itself, right? We're going to cut the other side. See that? And we're making a smaller banner. And we're going to run that through. And you can do this with any of your dies. Whoop, whoop. Squeak, squeak, crack. All the sounds of the machine. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's take a look, see how this worked out. Peel off my sticky note. Look at that. Look at that. And that's the size I wanted for my my card and this is trash. Okay, so let's put this die back so I don't lose it and I'll keep you updated. I'm sure I'll find that die somewhere. It's in my craft room here, but of course it did not want to come onto my video, so it's okay. All right, <laughs> we'll bring back the card now. Let's take a look at these fun images that were die cut. There's my little wizard, cute, cute. And where's my little artist? Love it. Oh my gosh. She reminds me so much of my daughter. My daughter is going to Alberta University of Arts. She loves everything artistic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Sherry, it will show up. I have seen it time and time again. It, it is here, I'm sure. It's just with another die set, but I, it takes time to go through all my dies to figure out where did it go. <laughs> and sometimes you find things when you're not looking, right? Okay, so we're going to flip these all over. And we're going to put dimensionals on the images. So let's grab some dimensionals. I'm going to put two on each of my images here and they'll be ready to go. We're going to do another little fun trick with the banner. I sneak peeked this one last week on, a, on another card, but we're going to do it again today. I love this technique. And we're going to bring in some tear and tape and I'm going to put tear and tape on the bottom of this greeting like so across the bottom and we're going to peel off the backing i need a little bit more to go right to the edge so let's put another piece this is why i love tear and tape it's so easy to use you don't need your scissors you just use your fingers to tear it and i should really be using my take your pick tool to peel this off <laughs> okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some ribbon. So I'm bringing in, let's slide these over here until I'm ready to put the card together. I'm bringing in a three eight inch sheer ribbon combo. This, this uh, ribbon comes in, th in a three pack. So there's the Azure Afternoon. And let me show you the other ones. <laughs> you should do another daughter video challenge. <laughs> yes, you're right, I should do that. Okay, so we got three colors here. We've got uh, Azure Afternoon, um, Bubble Bath, and Lemon Lolly. And you get all three of these in one package. Oh my goodness, something you definitely want to add to your order or your starter kit, even better. Put that in your starter kit because this co these colors have been featured in a lot of the designer series paper and you know, you're know you going to be able to use them in your crafting, right? So I'm just coming in here and I'm just going to just start doing some little pleats just doing some little folds and touching right onto that uh, tear and tape. This doesn't take long, but boy, it looks so sharp when it's done. It's a fun little ribbon technique. And we're just gonna do this again. Go down and back, down and back, fold and fold, fold and press, fold and press. That's, the, that's what we wanna do. And if you're not happy with it, the fun part of using tear and tape is you can pull it up and try again, right? So when we're done, we can just come in here with the scissors, snip it off, and let's take a look at what I've got done here. So I got one pleat that's a little bit too big. See, I'm just gonna pull that up and then I can just fix it. Depends on how picky you are, right? How picky are you? <laughs> and we're just gonna come in here like this and end it off. Okay, so there we go. We've got our ribbon on the back, so it gives a nice little pleated look on the bottom. And that silver, tiny little bit of silver on the ribbon is so fun. Nice little sparkle. Okay, so there's the back of my greeting. 
And what I want to do now is I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Now, I don't think I did this the other day on my card, but I find the ribbon adds a, quite a bit of thickness there. So to match that thickness, you want everything to be in the same plane. I don't want it to be crooked. I'm going to do a double decker, double decker dimensional. There's a mouthful. Okay, double decker dimensional going on. <laughs> okay, so let's put all this fun stuff together. Let's put our cute little girl, our little artist down here. We're going to put our wizard up here because he's like, you know, if it looks like he's in the stars with his wand, like he's, you know, waving his wand. And then we're going to bring in the greeting. Ooh, is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? I'm going to have to overlap. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull her up a little bit. Oh, okay. This ever happened to you? Let's see if we can fix this. There's my dimensional. It was my dimensional was quite happy there. I should have put down my greeting first. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna put the greeting right here. Cover up a little bit of those adorable slippers. And we'll replace that dimensional there that I'm missing. It's real life crafting, my friends. Okay. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to slip her right there. There we go. Oh my gosh. So cute, right? I love it. Okay, so we've got that nice little bit of ribbon there as my pop of, of color and a bit of bling. But of course, the bling that comes in the suite is so sparkly and fun. I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the putty end and we're going to add some of these bling to the background. So let's add a big one. I don't have enough of the putty. Okay, that's good. Just, I want to show you this. Just turn the little thing and you can see the putty. I don't know if you can see that if the camera will focus, but it's, it's coming out there. And then you want to use that to use to stick. Words, words, not stick. It's going to be sticky so you can pick up your bling. Put one there and another one over here on the white space. Okay, there's the front. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, put the lid on my dimension, on my take your pick tool. <laughs> okay, let's bring in the inside. What are we going to stamp on the inside? So we say it's a it's your birthday on the front. How about you sparkle every day? You could say you're amazing. All of it could work, right? You could stamp both greetings. I'm not going to grab you sparkle every day because they do. These kids, they sparkle. They make us so proud of them. I love this card. Okay. You sparkle every day. I'll bring back my colors. Let's stamp that with Azure Afternoon. Right in the middle here. Boom. All right. And then we'll close this up. We're going to grab that very burst. And let's bring in the other stamp. Um, oh, it's right here. <laughs> Duh. Okay. I'm going to grab my chamois because I use the blue stars, the Azure Afternoon, for the front. We're going to use Berry Burst to do some stars on the inside. So let's come in here and add stars right there. And how about another set down in the opposite corner? I think that'll be enough. And it'll still leave me lots of room to be able to write my greeting. Oh my gosh. You sparkle every day. <laughs> if you're a scrapbooker, oh my goodness, the pages you'll be able to make with this amazing bundle. It's going to be fun. Lots and lots of fun. All right, so let's come in with the glue and add a tiny little bit of glue to the edges here. And I'm really liking this color, this, this card and the color scheme. As your afternoon goes so nice with Berry Burst, wouldn't you agree? Love these colors together. And I love the fact that we have bling to match, right? That ribbon just adds a nice little pop of pizzazz there to the card. And then we've got our bling that comes with the suite. So much fun. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. I'm just going to flip you around here. And <laughs> I got the heat turned up in my room here. It's, it's warm in here. I am having so much fun with this. Um, is it called kidding around? I think it's called kidding around. Yes, it is kidding around. I'm not kidding around. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> uh, the, the suite is called just kidding, 
but the bundle is called Kid Kidding Around. And the bundle code, if you're interested in getting the bundle, which you need the dies, right? You're going to need the dies, um, is 162. I can't see. I got to put my glasses on, but honestly, that's too small. 162839 for the bundle. All right. This card is over on my blog. You can go check it out. Um, the products are over there. You can click on them. If you live in Canada, it'll take you right to my uh, online store where you can actually purchase these. I just think it's so fun, these colors together. All right. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for joining me. If you're watching the replay, thank you for coming back to watch. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday and I hope your week is off to a great start. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mountain Time for my next card using Kidding Around. So fun. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.